<laughs> Hello and welcome to another bonus edition of Cracking the Cryptic, where I'm going to be trying and to solve today's Times Cryptic Crossword, which is rated harder than usual, as usual, for Fridays. Um, and apologies for my dreadful attire while I record this. Uh, I've been, well, I've just finished in the gym uh, and then the kitchen has flooded. So, uh, yeah, but I, I do want to try and keep these videos going. <laughs> So, you've got me headband, um, Mark Knopfler-esque, I wish, um, and um, yeah, let's let's have a look, actually, let's have a look at the stats for this one before we actually kick into it. What can we say about, I mean, all the names at the top, I think, are neutrinos, i.e. typists, they're not actual solvers. The, the first name I recognise is Aphis99 as being a genuine solve, that's Andy Fisher, seven minutes. And then, and then it really jumps up. So this looks difficult, actually. Oh, let's have a look. Let's see if we can see any other names. Yeah, GL Heard is real. 16 minutes. Tom Stubbs, great solver. 16 minutes. So it's definitely difficult, this. Right, let's go to find the puzzle and see if we can actually solve it. That would be, that would be good. Now, let's get cracking. Um, I can't remember if there's anything I was meant to tell you about today. It probably was. Um, one may put on coat and bra, thus fixed with pin. That feels like an anagram. Um, okay, yes, I've got this, actually. Okay, so I said it felt like an anagram. Why did I think it felt like an anagram? I don't rightly know. I think it's just that my brain over the years has become very, very, well, reasonable at spotting odd groups of letters. So as I read the last part of this this clue, bra thus fixed with pin, it, it something about that string feels off to me. Um, and then the word fixed is interesting because in terms of which, which, which word in here? Whenever you have an anagram in a crypto crossword, there must always be a word or a phrase that tells you it's an anagram, that tells you to jumble up letters or to fix letters. And here the word is fixed. So if fixed is telling us to anagram, what, what is it telling us to anagram? Again, you can't just include the anagram indicator randomly in the clue. It has to be in context. It has to be telling you specifically what what is the anagram fodder? What are the letters we're meant to be anagramming? And if you read bra thus fixed, i.e. bra thus anagrammed with pin, that is saying anagram bra thus with the word pin. That gives us 10 letters and one may put on coat. I think it's paintbrush. It's not saying a coat. I mean, the clue is very clever because it's trying to make you think about putting on clothes and then fixing them with a pin. But of course, putting on a coat, it's actually a paint brush, uh, as in a, a coat of paint. So let's have a look at two down. A club with disorder, again, with disorder is screaming anagram, isn't it? A club with disorder on the rise in shambles. Well, hmm, what well, I don't know what this is. A club, I'm thinking, is uh, a is is C, as in the the suit in cards if you were to bid one club that might you might see that as one c um in, in sort of bidding in bridge so so the way i read this the other you know, the only thing i'm just giving me pause for thought there is that club has short synonyms as well like bat a club with disorder on the rise so I, what i want to do now is to find a word for disorder i haven't thought of it like chaos or mayhem and then send it upwards and the whole thing means shambles i don't i'm, I'm not even sure about the c i'm going to take that out i don't know what that is finally down one's nice spirit finally down makes me think of the final letter of the word down that would give us an n one's nice i don't think it would be fair I mean, nice is an interesting word in cryptic crosswords because in other languages, the word nice could be said as nice. So could it be an indication of a French word for a spirit or something like that? Um, but I, I think that's too, too, 
that's not really correct because Nice, the place, would have a capital letter. Finally down. One's nice spirit. A nice spirit is a... I don't know. I'm always wondering whether this could be brush paint. No, that's such nonsense. It couldn't be. Um, noise of bouncing plane after European disembarks. Um, I think this means noise. A bouncing, and I think I might need a word for whatever the plane was that was the bouncing bomber. I mean, I've thought of bomber, but if I take E for European out of bomber, I don't get anything that makes sense. Was it? It wasn't called the Big Bertha or anything, was it? But even if it was, that doesn't make any sense. Um, I don't know what that is either. Gosh, this is weird. A Spanish chap covering you, we hear in ointment unction or something ointment okay, thinking of a word like that a spanish chap what's that a senor covering Would that be right? Would it be Senor with a U? Covering you we hear is telling, is telling me that I need a homophone of the word U. And I think that that might just be the letter U. If you say the letter U, it sounds exactly the same as if you were to say this word U, Y-O-U. So if, if that was right, though, a, no, a, a Spanish, I've not, I've not put that in covering you we hear i don't know this is weird it's almost like i've got one across wrong because this is not giving me any joy at all all right crooked mob with cash that feels like an anagram of of mob cash that bag so it surrounds a n for a and new can be abbreviated to n and we need a vehicle um which is going to be uh, something I wanted it to be something car, but it's not, is it? Something, no, I don't know. Hang on. Handsome cab is what it is. Okay, I, I will forgive myself because that wasn't the first vehicle. I mean, a state car would fit and things like that, but um, I think it's handsome cab. H-A-N-S-O-M-C-A-B. That looks right, doesn't it? So, handsome cab is the answer for our vehicle. That gives us another starting letter. We'll keep trying to use these. Give one's assent. If you give one's assent, you nod, don't you? To tour India with Mr. Hunter. Okay, well, this, <laughs> okay, this is very nice. And what we have to do, the only, the only difficulty in this clue, and it's not too difficult once we've got the starting N, is splitting the clue in the right place. So remember, every cryptic crossword clue has a definition in it, like a quick crossword definition or an American crossword definition, if you're used to American puzzles. And that definition is almost always at the start or the end of the clue. And that requires us to cut the clue into the bit that is the quick crossword definition and the bit that is the wordplay. And here, Mr. Hunter, it looks like a phrase, doesn't it? But actually, we have to split the clue after the word Mr. This is a six letter word for a hunter. Think about classical illusions or Elgar. You'll get it quite quickly. Um, and if you if you give one's assent, we've already said that's to nod. That tours India, which can be abbreviated to I. So if you see a car with I on the back of it, it's from India. And then Mr. Let's write Mr. in the clue. Put nod around the outside. Nimrod is the answer. Very nice. Now, can we get seven across? Deal stimulant behind officer's back. Deal. <sighs> Cope is what I was thinking. Stimulant. I mean, E, the, the drug E, could that be a stimulant? I don't know enough about drugs to know whether E is a stimulant, but I'm wondering whether it could be cop for an officer. But a cop, a cop isn't really an officer, is it? A cop is just a policeman. I suppose a policeman, a general policeman, you might call, you might say, hello, officer. Um, I'm wondering if it's cope. I'm not sure. 
let's try and let's see if we can get the p justified in eight down inclined prone to go on run round lake seen in pictures photos no seen in pictures don't know well, what about the c for this one made good compensated funny anecdotes that's an anagram of anecdotes about westminster type well a westminster type would be somebody who works in westminster what do we find in westminster the houses of parliament who would work in the houses of parliament an mp so i think it's compensated um, there so cope now feels better and that would give us this p here inclined to go on run round lake or, or maybe it's lake seen in pictures is the definition what would a lake seen in pictures be um oh i don't know i've got leaks on the mind right let's have a look at 13 across fascinatingly i'm thinking anagram <laughs> alien et embraces old monarch in public hmm fascinatingly this to be something like oh, i don't know exotically or esoterically esoteric no i don't know old monarch could that be old king cole in public overt i'm seeing as well i'm seeing lots of things that are potentially relevant but i can't make any of them work right right this is going to be critical if we can get nine down cold we're in nine across cold we're in good shape aren't we annoying nitwit i wonder if it's an nitwit coming between henry and heather right let's talk i don't know what this is but i'm going to No, I have got it. I have got it, actually. But I, I want to talk about the word Heather. Which I don't know how much I've talked about the word Heather before. Heather here looks like it's trying to be used as a girl's name. But Heather has two synonyms that do come up relatively often in cryptic crosswords. One is Erica, uh, which is a type of Heather. Have I got my... Um, uh, let's just see if I've got my dictionary open. Let me have a look at Erica. There we go. A plant of the heath genus. But there's also the word, and this is the critical one, Ling. Ling is not just a Zergling in StarCraft 2. It is also, there we go, a fish. That does come up. But it is also Heather. And you can imagine how many words end in Ling. It's a lot. So this is why we see Heather quite often in cryptic crossword clues. So annoying is the definition here nitwit so we need a short synonym for a nitwit to come inside now henry can be be, be, be abbreviated to h that's from uh, the scientific units the henry is a scientific unit can't remember what of now um in fact, let's check henry is a unit of pressure might be no inductance so yeah i did i did i did that in a level physics i'm such a muppet i really am that i can't remember that anyway it's only a year or two ago um there we go henry uh, and a you know, symbol h even tells you so we probably have to, starting with h probably end probably ending with ling and it means annoying a three-letter word for a nitwit let's put ass in the middle and then we get hassling which is annoying now oh what is that I am. Well, what is that? There are no words, are there? Nose? N O S? No. What's, what? I am astonished that I don't know this word. I mean, I've played enough Scrabble to be fairly confident I know a lot of two and three letter words. I don't. I'm wondering whether paintbrush is wrong. Have I have I messed this up somehow? No, it's it must be paintbrush. Unguent is that is that an oh yeah that's right 
Okay, unguent is a word for an ointment, isn't it? I mean, it's not it's not a commonly used word, but I can see how this works. A R U N, a gent is a uh, a chap. So A in Spanish is U N. I didn't actually know that. I, I know that A in French is U N, but apparently A in Spanish is U N as well. Then chap for gent, all covering this letter U as a homophone for the word U, because we hear it, and then that means ointment. Now let's check unguent is correct. Uh, I'm not changing it, so I'm prepared to look it up. Uh, unguent. There we go, just ointment. Okay, so oh, we did get an E at the start of 13 across. We get an A in this one. Oh, this is the a club with disorder on the rise. A disorder could be um, like like an illness. Maybe we have to reverse an illness here in shambles. This is going to bother me though. I, I just don't know what this is. Um, I mean, this, it, from the wordplay, it's possibly, it's either this or this. Because ones is going to be, I mean, I prefer nis, ones is in cryptic crosswords, one apostrophe s on my phones. Good grief. They've mended my car. That's fantastic news. Um, okay, let me, um, that's actually, that is actually, fiddlesticks would fit here. Cook some rhubarb, it must be fiddlesticks. If you cook the books, you fiddle them. Rhubarb comes in sticks, <laughs> and tripe is fid a word for, for fiddlesticks. That's very lucky. Um, let's try, the, let's, tr no, let's try 12 down. During depression in, so I'm thinking in, during a depression is a dent so i'm actually wondering if this is independent or something like that or entertaining journo turning up to write for paper in well the independent is a paper <laughs> it's unusual for uh, the times to advertise a competitor uh, but let's see if that's right um in so how's this work? It's got pen in it, which I think is right. Yes, okay. So the way this works is it is, during depression, is indent, in, D-E-N-T. And that entertains, so that includes journo turning up. Well, the journo, uh, this comes up all the time in Crypto Crosswords, ed, as in the editor of a newspaper. So that's the reversal of this ed. And that's... Um, entertain to write is pen here yeah, so it, un it entertains both those things to give overall the paper the independent um now what's that then let's have let's try and do this without looking at the clue something bottle or button um no I'm, i can't do it okay so spread bet a punter or, or it must be it's an anagram somehow of probably better punter, excepting punt with odds slashed. Well, okay, with odds slashed here is shouting at me, take the odd numbered letters out of the word punt. So if I, that would give me U and T, just the even letters. And that's two letters, so I need another 10 letters and better punter is 10 letters. So it's, it, oh, it's peanut butter. <laughs> it's a spread, <laughs> a spread as in something that you put on your, your toast. Um, but again, what I like about this clue is the whole clue is all about betting, isn't it? Spread bet, a punter organised, accepting punt with odds slashed. Very, very cleverly worded. And yet the actual answer is nothing to do with betting. You literally have to cut it after between spread and bet um, in order to understand what's going on. Let's try 15 down. Copy. I'm thinking ape. If you if you ape someone, you copy them. And we've got copy flipping here. So, I mean, it's not a great start, but I'm wondering if it could start like that. Posh character, short clothing adornment. Oh, epaulette or something. Is it, isn't that something? An epaulette, something that goes on your shoulder, maybe. Um, so ape, posh can be you. 
the letter U, you may say, well, that sounds nonsense, Simon. I would agree with you. It's absolute nonsense, but the dictionary supports it. Let's go to the dictionary, type in U, and you will see that somewhere in here is, and this comes up a lot in the listener, a Bur that U is a Burmese title of respect, preface to a man's name. But here we go. U is an, the letter U is an adjective um, found among the upper classes, socially acceptable upper class. So posh, ca posh character here is U. Oh, and then let no posh is U. And then letter is a character and that's shortened. And that gives clone clothing adornment epaulette. Um, there we go. An ornament on the shoulder of a military or naval officer's uniform. A shoulder piece. Um, right, let's try and use that U. Leading way with e.g. drama in Le Bourgeois Gentilhomme. Leading way with e.g. drama. I mean, e.g. drama, I'm wondering if, if, so for example, a drama is an art form. I'm wondering if it's got art in it somehow. In Le Bourgeois Gentilhomme. I don't have a clue what that's talking about. <laughs> um, um, right, let's try. Should we try 19 down? Don't get it downhearted. Cheer up in exercise. Oh, so it's going to be the name of an exercise like pull up or bear up. No, don't get downhearted. Keep, oh, keep up, stay up. Play up? I don't know. It's something up, isn't it? That's probably the name of an exercise. Let's see if what a disdainful person did in argument. Spat. Double definition. So a disdainful um, person might spit in the past tense, and an argument is a spat. So that's going to be right. Twenty-two across. Shoot up, perhaps. Flying around. Speed of light. Well, speed of light we know obviously equals m c squared. The c in that equation is the speed of light. So this has got a c in it somewhere. So shoot up ascent or a strong part of speech, isn't it? Um, perhaps flying. What is flying? It is a or maybe it's shoot up perhaps. Then flying. Five letter word for flying fleet. No. Um, I was thinking fleet is in fleet of foot, so flying is in fast. Um, flying around, and we need to put a C in here, and it all means shoot up. Um, shoot up. Oh, I don't know. Let's try 20 across. Individuals doing a Sean Connery impression, making complaint. Individuals doing a Sean Connery impression. What? Um, what? What? what I don't even, <laughs> I'm trying to work out what doing, what could be a short synonym for doing a Sean Connery impression? I don't know. Making complaint is that well, again, I'm wondering whether complaint here could be the name of an illness. So is this the name of an illness? Um, I was thinking rubella's nonsense. Um, individuals, men. Could it begin with men doing a Sean Connery impression? Wow. OK, so this is a horrible little corner of the grid. Let's try 21. Jogged in the altogether, nude, inspiring start of glorious day. Start of glorious is going to be G. Nudged, I'm thinking. Yeah, that's right. OK, if you jog someone's memory or jog them, jostle them, you'd elbow them, you'd nudge them, wouldn't you? In the altogether is nude. That inspires the start of glorious. That's the starting letter G. And that that then has D for day after it. Again, we do this every week, but it bears repetition. You can't just abbreviate any word to its initial. Whatever you think, 
That is not how cryptic crosswords work. It must be supported by the dictionary. And as you get more and more used to doing these puzzles, you'll get used to what are the allowable abbreviations. What does the dictionary support as, a, as, as an abbreviation? If we go to D uh, and we click down, we will find somewhere day. Uh, there we go. Third one under little d. Date, daughter, day. Um, some of these you'd never see in the Times. You'd see them in the Listener. You'd see died in the Times, Duke in the Times, maybe even diameter. No, I don't think you see diameter. I was wondering about sort of pi r squared, but I mean r for radius, yes, but d for diameter, no. Old penny, you might see d for d. Uh, you wouldn't you wouldn't see degree, I don't think, or delete, um, or departs, or depth, or deserted. So, but some of the others you will see, and they have to be supported by the dictionary. Let's try twenty one down. XPM's personnel personnel is often HR caught in knees up periodically. Okay, so again we had it. We had to slash the odd letters out of a word earlier. Now, knees up periodically. What is that telling us to do? I think it's just saying take the regularly occurring letters from the phrase knees up. And that's either going to be the oddly numbered letters, letters 1, 3, 5, 7, or it's going to be the evenly numbered letters 2, 4, 6. Now, here, we, we, the clue begins with N. So I'm thinking it's, that's going to be that N, the second letter. So, that, so if we take the even letters, we're going to have N, E, and U, U. Oh, OK, so it's Nehru, is it? So it's not a, a British prime minister. Yes, HR, HR, Nehru. There we go. XPM. We've got personnel with NEU around the outside. So that was a good win. Parking away from bypass. Bypass something you skip. Skip it. If we take P for parking away, we get to go downhill in a particular way is to ski. Uh, something I'm probably not going to get to do this year. Bar humbug. 23. This man's he's admitted to, so inside, that looks great, adhesion, I'm thinking, or oh, adhesive maybe, uh, admitted to an attempt to con the referee a dive. Ah, the bane of all football fans. Um, so a dive is an attempt to con the referee that has he's in the middle of it and something that's very tacky is adhesive um right let's try 16 down army corps is in the army say or part of the army oh goodness uh, so it's going to be the name of part of the army i think army corps is horrible because there are so many short abbreviations for army corps royal engineers re military engineers is it me um ra royal artillery SAS, you know, there's all various things. Um, so Army Corps is is in the army, say, is in the army. So to say is to aver as well. See that say there, it might not be saying part of the army. Oh, it's going to be something. No, cavalry, no. Um, reserves, they're part of the army, I think. I'm not very good at knowing what bits of the army there are. Let's try and justify reserves. Oh, yeah, okay. Is in the army, say. If you're in the army, you serve, don't you? So the plural serves is in the army, say. So it's, it's RE, Royal Engineers, for the Army Corps, is in the army say serves and then the, so the whole thing is a part of the army which is the reserves now what's this then fan strange okay again this is an anagram i don't I haven't got the oh, i have got the answer now but the the word strangely it it's just must be an anagram indicator so how do we get the anagram fodder we need 10 letters and again the clue has to tell us which 10 letters we're anagramming strangely hesitant with us so we need to anagram hesitant eight letters with the word us two letters and then we're getting a word that means fan and the answer there is enthusiast and what's this then upstart oh leading leading if you're leading your your up quite like upstart 
way is a straight I, look i was right i was right i wondered whether art might be because drama is an art form and it is it's upstart so that must be le bourgeois gentil homme must be referring it must have been an upstart in a book or something or maybe in french this is what this is like a parvenu i don't know an upstart parvenu is a is literally an upstart um so but leading if you're leading in a match you're up in it way is a street as in a a, a road um now that's given us another letter in 20 cross oh this is the individuals doing their sean connery impression um making complaint oh no complaint gruntles no gruntles is the opposite of disgruntles i think individuals doing a sean connery impression i think i'm going to kick myself about this one um what i mean what what <laughs> sean connery was bond um so if you were doing I don't know. What well, was Sean Connery any anything else famous apart from James Bond? He was was he Highlander or was that nonsense? I think that's nonsense. I think that's nonsense. Um he was King Richard, wasn't he in Robin Hood? Doing a Sean Connery impression. I haven't got a clue what this is talking about. I think it's going to, still going to be the name of an illness. I think I'm wondering about LIS at the end. Um, syphilis or an unpleasant illness, but it's not syphilis. Um, let's have a look at this one again. Shoot up. Oh, inject. Oh, I, I was thinking of shoot up as in to ascend. If you shoot up in a drug sense, there's another my lack of knowledge that e was a stimulant has come back and bit me here as well to shoot up is to inject isn't it that's that is a method of getting a drug into you <laughs> don't do that um so perhaps so f if you're f if you're perhaps flying you're in a jet and that has that goes around c for the speed of light and that gives us an n at the end of this one don't get downhearted um chin up a oh, chin up yes of course keep your chin up and a chin up is an exercise right now so now we've nearly got this one so we just need a word that fits um individuals doing a sean connery impression making complaint a com shingles oh i see oh goodness right okay so it's it's punning on the Scottish accent, I think, that Sean Connery had. He might have said shingles when he was meaning singles. <laughs> Would you like a game of shingles? Um, thinking of golf, Goldfinger was Sean Connery and Goldfinger, wasn't it? I'm pretty sure it was. Um, and yes, so we're going to play shingles. Um, and um, now I've got confused. But yeah, shingles is a is a medical complaint and individuals doing a shing individuals are singles so doing a sean connery impression shingles um i'm not going to do it again honestly right let's try and get this top right figured out oh, we still oh hang on i've got to take that N nis out i don't believe that well it might be right but i'm not sure about it fascinatingly alien oh alien is going to be et then now is it we've got too many e's in this for it not to be et embraces old monarch fascinatingly I want this to be something like exotically or fascinatingly old monarch in pu if it's something is in public it's out isn't it uh okay oh, sorry this is about the plumbing i need to look at this just just give me one second Oh my goodness, a long message as well. Uh, okay, that's all right. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Okay, that's all right. At least, at least, apparently the leak has been found. Um, 13. Fascinatingly alien embraces old monarch. 
in public. Fascin it means fascinatingly, I think. Oh, what's this one? Let's try that one again. Inclined. I keep wanting that to be prone. If you're inclined, you're prone. Um, you're prone to do something. You're, you're inclined to do it, aren't you? Inclined to go on run. Well, that must be R. Run, run it can be abbreviated to R. Round lake. Well, lake can be abbreviated to L. So I'm thinking we need a word that's got L in it that probably ends in R. And it means seen in pictures, though. That's the bit I don't like. Maybe the L is second. Seen in pictures. Pl, pl. Um, I, Pixar is coming into my brain, which is not helpful. Um, inclined to go on. If you're inclined to go on, oh, you're prolix. Oh, that's it. Goodness me, that's very clever. Okay, this is a strange word. Uh, so if you're inclined to go on, as in you talk a lot, you're prolix, you're verb verbose. Let's check it. Um, yeah, here we go. Long-winded. Um, so how does this work? I don't know yet, apart from it's got picks around the edge, which are obviously picks, P-I-X, is a sort of slang phrase for pictures isn't it show me your pics um so we've got run round is o l gosh i mean this round for o you may say how is round a synonym for the round letter o that's a very good question but it is allowable if you if we look under o it does have as its definition anything round i think anything round or nearly so so that's why round is synonymous with O. Um, right, so that were esoteric, this must be, no, but that's the wrong part of speech, isn't it? Old King Cole, I keep thinking. Oh, old monarch could be just R, O, R. Monarch could be Rex or Regina. Um, so alien alien must be et and that embraces something here so he almost wants it to be old monarch old king cole echolet in public beginning with i two letters I mean, it's just nonsense. It's absolute nonsense. Like in public. If something is in public, it's op oh, open. Open is in the middle of that, perhaps. Old. Well, maybe it's fascin. Okay, maybe it's fascinatingly alien. Yeah, that that could be a definition of esoteric, couldn't it? No, but then embraces old monarch in public. Hmm, I don't know. I'm not sure about that at all. Got, all right, let's try and do a bit more. We've got, um, let's try four down. Or oh, 11, have I looked at, 11? oh no, I haven't looked at 11 across. Call on, virtuous person. Virtuous person is quite often a saint, S-T. Call on, virtuous person, making a bit of a bow. Oh. A string? Yeah, that's actually easier than I was thinking. I uh, thought it might be the name for a bit of a uh, a bow in musical, you know, if you, there might be words for a particular type of violin maneuver, um, but it, it's not, it's much simpler. The call, if you call someone, you ring them and that goes on. So next to a, an abbreviation for virtuous person, a saint and a bit of a bow, a bit of a fiddle, a bit of a violin is a string. Now this must be bring then, is it? No, oh, noi, bling? No, hang on, bowing? Boing, 
A noise of bouncing. Oh, lovely. Boing is a noise of bouncing. A plane is a Boeing once the European departs. Oh, that, I really like that. That's very unusual. Very clever. OK, let's try two down. A club uh, with disorder on the rise in shambles. Uh, it's a complete... It's a complete... I don't know. Uh, it's shambles. Shambles is a. It's got another meaning, hasn't it? It's not. It doesn't just mean to sort of walk shabbily or a shambles is in a fiasco. It has another meaning that I can't remember. Um, a club with disorder um, on the rise in shambles. So if that was a C. What could what word would fit here now? Um, I don't know. Nothing that's jumping out at me. You can see why this puzzle actually got a. It, it's proved difficult, can't you? So how many have we got left to do? Three. This one I just don't know. There might be a word for a nice spirit that I. I mean. Finally down, N. Ones. The problem is one. You could say A, couldn't you see it? Rather than saying one horse, you could say A horse. So it is possible this is AS. NAS or NAS as a word. I just don't think that's a word. I don't think this is a word either. But one of those must be a word. I don't know. That's probably going to be my guess for that one. Um, so we've still got two, though. Fascinatingly alien. Esoteric. I really like esoteric. I just can't justify it. Uh, but that has to... Mm, that has to... Or oh, exotic. Oh, yeah. Okay, so exotic is fascinatingly alien. Oh, so, okay. And that embraces an old monarch. And it, the whole thing is going to be in public, isn't it? Exo oh, no. OK, so it's exoteric. Right. I, I, I put the T in the wrong place. I put it there. It could go here if this was the two letter abbreviation for the old monarch. So the old monarch is Elizabeth Regina, Queen Elizabeth II. Um, very common abbreviation. Um, and then exotic for fascinatingly alien embraces ER. And that gives us exoteric, which I don't really know is a word, but um, it feels like it might well be a word that means in public as in on the exterior of something or something like that. So so that's good. And now we've just got this one, but we, we think this might be wrong. Um, but I mean, unless there is another w annoying, maybe hassling is wrong. I mean, it, it's obviously fits the wordplay, etc., and the definition, but it might be there's another short synonym for a nitwit, beginning with a vowel. Mm, that doesn't feel likely, actually. Okay, so we probably are we probably are on the right track. We've probably got the right letters. Oh, abattoir would fit. A shambles is an abattoir. I knew it had another meaning. Okay, so a bat. I even said bat right at the very beginning. Uh, dis oh, a disorder is a riot. So a riot rises after a bat for a club. And a shambles, I think we're going to find, is an abattoir. Let's check that. Shambles. Two. A butcher's market stall, a flesh market, a slaughterhouse. So abattoir is right. Okay, so should we, should we check this before I get it wrong or not? Let's let's submit it. Um, I'm submitting without leaderboard at the moment because people want me to do that because it's oh, it was right. So NIS is some sort of spirit, apparently. Let's check that. I'm so embarrassed. I didn't know that. Oh, there it is. No, 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 that's not that's this. This is not meaning nice spirit. Scandinavian fro folklore. There we go. A Nis is a friendly goblin or other benevolent creature. Well, that is a till for me. Today I learnt that Nis is a friendly goblin in Scandinavia. 
there we go. What a very nice puzzle, wasn't it? There was a lot to admire and a lot of really interesting clues uh, and answers. And overall, that's the, you know, that's the, the great thing about the Times crossword is even though I've been doing it for decades, I can still do it every day and find something or many things to really enjoy and learn about when I when I when I get through it. Now, if you did, if you are still here in this video um, and you have enjoyed it, then please do give the video a like. I know lots of people, lots of creators beg for these things. Um, and um, I feel a bit embarrassed. We neither Mark nor I are very socially media aware, but we do really enjoy doing crossword stuff and the algorithm just doesn't like these videos for some reason and we have to teach the algorithm that there is an audience who really would enjoy this not just you guys but hopefully more people if the algorithm spread it a bit more widely would get into these wonderful puzzles so maybe drop a like maybe drop a comment let us know if you enjoy these we enjoy making them that's for sure and thanks to the constructor of this one. We don't know who it is. The Times is anonymous. Times shouldn't be anonymous anymore. No, it shouldn't. An appeal to the Times. Let let them be known if they want to be known. Maybe, maybe, maybe they maybe they wouldn't want to be known. But I think nowadays it would be lovely to give these constructors uh, a bit of public credit for these magnificent puzzles. Anyway. That's enough from me. Thank you for watching. We'll be back later with another edition of Cracking the Cryptic.